We are back once again. For those who don't know, I am Jamie Michael. This is Jamie Reviews. And as always, we got to give the people what they want. And there is no doubt, the people want Nike. And we do too, sometimes. Today on the channel, I was able to bring one of the newest members of the Mary Beth Run Club. We got Sid the Kid, and she can dance and still make money moves. So as you can see, we have the new Odyssey React. The original came out last year, and it was alright. I was a much bigger fan of the epic React flying it, but this year Nike went back and modified a few things. So is this shoe better? Is it worse? Is it worth it? Well be patient, the video just started. Hit that like button, be sure to subscribe, and let's get right into it. This is our review of the Nike Odyssey React 2 Flyknit. Last year's Odyssey React was pretty much basic mesh and had this neoprene style tongue. That ran pretty hot. But this year, with this Flyknit, it's a whole new game. The Flyknit runs through the toe box and towards the midfoot. And we found it to be much more adaptable than last year's setup. And it was comfortable on foot. And it had a decent lockdown for being a knit. But the overall stability of the upper was improved by this plastic panel wrap that goes from the midfoot and around the shoe. We didn't feel pressure from the wrap like we thought we would. However, breathability felt a bit lacking compared to the non-fly knit part of the upper. But the added stability of the upper does seem to be the trade-off. This is a more supportive fit compared to the popular Epic React fly knit. The tongue of the shoe is also a fly knit weave that has a bit of stretch to it and help maintain that sock-like feel. It has that seamless fit and it's probably the best upgrade to the shoe from last year's model. That thing was a heat machine, so we're glad that Nike fixed it. The heel is pretty stable. It is not as flexible as some other fly knit shoes, so for those who like a more secure fit, this should do it. I had a bit of heel slipping, so I had to tie the shoe with the extra lace loops, but that was an easy fix. So, so far so good, but this thing was not all rainbows and butterflies. Nike, you did well on paper, but the fit of the toe box did take me about a week to actually break in. We felt the toe box was tapered a bit too much. I would say the toe box felt almost a bit pointy, and the overall fit was a bit short. I ended up going up a half a size to avoid the fit issue. So width-wise, the fly knit will stretch. Lengthwise, not so much. So that's that. Let's talk about the cushioning. So the midsole consists of Nike's React technology. And as many of you know, it is one of my favorites amongst many options out there. Typically React is light, bouncy, and responsive. And it has that spark that makes running a bit more engaging. Now the Odyssey React Flyknit 2 does have all of those qualities, but it's just a bit more on the responsive, firmer side. It is still comfortable, but it's not compressed as much as the Epic React Flyknit. Now it's not a dead flat feeling like that Legend React nonsense that I reviewed last year, so if anything, it feels a bit more stable. And that's because of the TPU heel clip that adds a bit more structure to the ride. Some people want a more stable option, and this will fit that bill for those who want some React and a more controlled package. Now the outsole uses rubber in portions at the toe, the sides of the midfoot, and on the heel. This is more rubber than you get in the Epic React fly knit, and I think many will have that peace of mind of knowing the React is a bit more protected. Now having that extra rubber does cause the shoe to not be as flexible. But once again, that also gives the ride a bit more stability. Traction was fine on road and dirt. We didn't get to try it in the rain. I mean, I could've, but I was busy trying to finish chapter six of Red Dead Redemption 2. So I'll let you know in the comments how it does in the rain when I have another chance. So the Odyssey React is just a better overall shoe than last year's. Besides having to size up and having to break in the upper a bit, I was fine. Now some of you may be fine going true to size, depending on your foot shape. So you might wanna try it on and see for yourself. But Sid and I both went half a size up. And so I honestly wasn't expecting much from the shoe but I think it did just enough to call it a worthy upgrade. Now I still prefer the Epic React flying in over this, but if you are in need of a slightly firmer, more stable ride, this will be the way to go out of the React models. And overall, it's solid. It'll work for most runs. Short runs, longer runs, it can work as an all-around daily trainer. So when it comes to the Nike Odyssey React 2 flying it, Sid and I do approve. Well done. All right, everybody, we are back with the last segment. That was the review. Um, today we got Sid the Kid. So real quick, get to the point. What do you think your overall assumption of the shoe? Like, what, what was your overall take on it? Um, I liked it. Right now I run in the Peg 35, um, which I really like. But this was really good. Um, 
I like that it's kind of firm, didn't have a lot of give, and that was nice. It was a pretty smooth ride. Um, I prefer a little support maybe on the inside of the shoe, but that's just because I'm kind of flat foot footed and my feet proning a little bit. But overall, nice. All right, so this one had the fly knit, mm -hmm. and so it's make it more adaptable, more breathable. The last one, I guess I have, have it on your foot. Last one's model. It off. Yeah, take it off real quick. <laughs> the last one was Boom. like, people were saying it got really hot in the tongue, so they changed the material up a little bit. Uh -huh. I think it made a big difference, but as far as the fit, um, I think it was a little short. I typically wear a size 11. I had to go up a half a size. Yes, I agree. I think like even in the regular reacts, people run into that problem because I know for mine, I also had to size up a half size. And these ones too, because I had to size up a half size in this as well. So yeah, I agree with that. All right. Sorry, my breath's kind of stinking, so I'm trying to like, give you space. Oh no, you're good. I don't want to be like, oh, you're good. Stink it up. Stink it up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to turn this way. All right. Um, other than that, it's not as soft as the normal Epic React, but the Odyssey meant to be a little more firmer. So I think I agree as far as how it felt. It's an overall good shoe for 120 compared to the 150 of the Epic React. I mean, you're saving $30, and that $30 can take you to like, I don't know, Burger King or something. Get a nice dinner. Get you a Saving $30. That's a happy meal. Go to Eddie V's. Is that like everywhere or just like in Austin? Oh, that's just in Austin. No, it's everywhere. I don't know. Comment down below if- Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys been to Eddie V's, uh, comment down below. I'm not cutting anything. Oh God. We go straight raw. <laughs> All right, this is me, unfiltered, untamed and uncut. All right, cool, that's the uh, overall, uh, review and with that said be sure to stay in school don't do drugs Never. and if you can keep it tight keep it tight keep it right <laughs> people always ask what does it mean by keep it tight i'm assuming the form of running you know keep it tight chin to pocket all right i think we should end this yes and I used to have a blue pair, but I gave those away. So, I want to interview. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Oh, running shoes? Yes. Or any shoes. All the shoes. Um, last time I counted, I think I'm upwards of 27. Yes, how, how Nike many, shoes. How many feet do you have? Two. Just two. All right. But it's all about the fit, you know? Like, if I'm wearing this, I'm not going to wear, like, a super cute pair of, like, Air Force Ones. Like, I'm going to wear... These babies, because they're cute and stylish and so comfy. But if I'm like wearing some jeans and it's a nice day outside, I might throw on the 270s or the Air Force Ones. <laughs> <laughs> Sniggerhead. Whoa, what happened? Oh, my shoes. <laughs> Look at these shoes, you guys. You ain't got these. Make it spontaneous. All right, whenever you're ready. Bunnies and squirrels. Bunnies oh. and squirrels. Oh, my gosh. I have a DSP and the shoes literally the same way. I, I love it. Jack Russell. Oh my gosh, you are beautiful. GSP, what's GSP? Uh, German Shore. Ger I get you. Yeah. Green eyes. So yeah, they, they, they kind of grayed and greened up. They were really, you know, clearish blue when they... Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what is that? He's like, what oh, I won't be on camera. Oh, you're cute, Will. <laughs> How old is he? Five. Just turned five in September. Oh, wow. I got him as a puppy. Okay. What's he got? <laughs> they don't like it. What is that? <laughs> the toy?